Okay, <clears throat> so the uh, last video that we're doing for today, because today's actually a pretty slow day, so it's just two projects, both minors, and hey, I'm totally okay with it. I could use some rest. Uh, and I thought it gives all of you a chance to go back to my old videos and take a look at some projects you might be interested in. So the first thing I want to show is that little baby crocodile up here that's just floating around. So this project definitely looks like <clears throat> they forked from the farmhouse.io because this site looks pretty much the same as that one. So that's what they chose to uh, fork over here. And <clears throat> I believe Yada Crypto's video showed this at around 289,000 Kronos. Now this is up to 350k. So this looks like, so at the very least, this thing is growing. They have the standard 6-1 BS strategy that probably does not work. Now it occurred to me that I that these taxes are actually cumulative. So it's actually a 4% tax. So I'm going to go with that. All right. So the daily return is actually 8%, but you there's a 4% tax. So the gap is 4%. So I'm okay with that. Because for me, the, the gold standard is still baked beans, right? Because they're still doing pretty good. They're actually growing slowly at 5% of a tax gap. So, you know, I've been pulling out a lot of Binance coin from it. I mean, I did put in a lot originally, too. I don't even remember. So I think I'll get my money back uh, after the 30-day mark of when I originally, you know, went into baked beans, right? So I don't know when that is. But I'm sure it'll be like the first or second week of May. Uh or, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm pulling out a lot of money, so I can't even keep track anymore. So, and I don't really care. All right. So, I mean, that's the nice thing about finding a sustainable project. You don't have to care. All right. As long as it's still there and you're still pulling out money, then whatever. You make money. All right. And then just deploy the capital somewhere else. Or actually just hold it. All right. Because you always find. Because if you're doing what I'm doing, right, you'll always find, you know, new opportunities. Right. For example, the launch that's happening on Saturday. It's a public launch. Uh, we'll see what, you know. But it really checks out. So actually, uh, it's going to be a really good project. And yes, it'll be a Titano Seifu style type of project. In fact, some of you probably already know what it is, right? So we'll just find out on Saturday. Uh, okay, so let me see. All right, so they have some stuff on this web page. Because unlike the last project, Gary Roast Beef, this one has a lot of info. All right, so where I, where do I want to start? Okay, so the amount of kernels just went up by like a thousand or fifteen hundred or whatever, so that's very good. Uh, good tax gap, nice graphics, right? You know, it's not my preferred style, but you know, it's going for the kid friendly kind of thing. So all right, fine, whatever. Uh, okay, so they talk about crocodiles. They talk about uh, how does this work? Yeah, we don't need to read that. Okay, so these guys. These are some of the features that take care for you and your NAS and also brings more security. Okay, so they're claiming to be an NFT maker. Now everyone's doing that. Our company will give you a bonus for your nest. You can boost the reward of your nest for a few hours. Keep an eye out to know how. So okay. Very interesting. Okay, so they have like so they also implemented and well they're going to implement NFTs soon, TM of course. And then they could probably implement a booster reward. I forgot the name of the project already, but yesterday had something like that too, right? I think it was AVAX miners or something. So, okay, so that's actually going to put more more withdrawal pressure on the TVL. Okay, but, you know, it could encourage more growth, too. But ultimately, the, the dumping pressure will need to be dealt with. Max buys security. You can't commit more than 30% of the current total TVL when buying crocodiles. This, will, this limit will automatically be removed by the smart contract when the TVL is at 100,000... Kronos. Interesting. Well, yeah, because you don't want one whale controlling the whole project. And then now it's disabled because obviously we're way beyond 100,000 Kronos. Interesting. Okay, and then here's their supposed, you know, whatchamacallit, uh, people, which of course you just never know. You just have to take a, take a whatever at it. Alright, <clears throat> so I chose not to do wizardly. All right, because someone in the comments section said he's been losing a lot of money in it. Well, it didn't occur to me that he could be lying, so that's always, you know, a possibility, all right, just to prevent me from going into this, uh, which 
I mean, I can kind of understand why, because, you know, because no one really knows how much money I have, so people just assume that I'm a whale of some kind, so they don't want me going in and then single-handedly putting in too much money and then fuck up the project, right? So that's one possibility, but the other possibility is you might actually be telling the truth. So, actually, we could test it right now. I hope I remember what the thing was yesterday. <sighs> I am on Kronos. Why are you not showing me? What was the Kronos thing that I did yesterday? Uh, so 1.48 mil. Jeez, I have, to I have to watch my own video here. Okay. Ah, good. How to find out easily? Blah blah. Yeah. Okay. Good. So this is the this is the video I want people to watch because obviously, and it's nice because no one's been asking me how much. Uh, you know, what you call it? Okay. I don't want to click it because I don't want to count it as a view and then I click away and that fucks up the video. So according to that, it looks like there was 1.507 million Kronos as of 22 hours ago. So that's not that bad. It's only down like 27,000 Kronos, 26,000, 25,000, which is like $12,500, 13 grand. It's actually down not that much. It's, you know, but it is down nonetheless. Uh, what was their tax differential? Yeah, come on, let's have, yeah, they're even using a 5% tax, so, hmm, I don't know. Maybe Kronos suffers from the same problem as Phantom, where people are constantly withdrawing money. Uh, so that could be an issue, too. And it doesn't help that the gas fees on Kronos are also actually very high. <coughs> so when people have to make withdrawals, they have to actually withdraw a lot to over, to more than compensate and pretty much negate the uh, the Kronos gas fees because if your gas fee on Kronos is like say three Kronos, right? I think I know I calculated yesterday, but let's just make it an easy number for me. Uh, let's say your gas withdrawal fee is three Kronos, you're not going to withdraw ten Kronos, right? Because thirty percent of your earnings, quote unquote, is is taken up by the stupid gas fee. That's money you're never getting back. So what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to withdraw like a hundred Kronos. Now the gas fee is only 3% of your, you know, losses, which is still actually a lot for a gas fee. So, you're, so you know, to make it really insignificant, you're going to withdraw like 1,000 Kronos. At that point, it's 0.3%. Then in that case, then you don't have to care about the gas fee because it doesn't do anything at that point. But that's the thing. You're withdrawing like 1,000, all right? And so it is with, you know, Kronos-based projects, especially something like this. So, you know, it actually encourages people to withdraw large sums of money. So that maybe that might actually be why, you know, Wizard League might be having trouble. This might have uh, issues as well. Uh, but with that being said, you know, uh, it looks like they kind of know what they're doing. And, if Yacht, and I, I don't know if Yada Crypto actually charges for all of his videos. But if he does, then I'll have to... Then you could safely assume that these guys, the Crocodile Nest, paid Yada Crypto to, you know, do this video, to do his video, and then of course that's marketing, and that's what I'm looking for. Uh, me personally, I think you should just simply advertise in like exchanges, like Dexes, and then like just buy a banner ad on like, you know, gas tracker sites. I mean, they're probably going to be kind of expensive. That's the only thing, because if I were to run my own kind of pro minor project like this. That, that's what I would do. I wouldn't even bother paying YouTubers, all right? Especially in my case, because I would just do a video on my own project, right? And then I just, yeah, I go check this out and then leave it in my playlist. And then I go about my business, right? Doing my normal thing. And then, you know, it's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, but with that being said, oh yeah, someone made a comment about if I was interested in making my own minor project. Unfortunately, I don't remember what your comment said. So I, it was, I guess, too long and complicated. So you have to like dumb it down for me. Uh, but, yeah, but anyway, uh, I'm not going to do anything right now, anyway, because obviously, you know, Satan's always trying to invade my mind and, like, you know, tell me to do shit, so I always have to, like, learn to just ignore it, right, because if there's something I really want to do, I'll just know, all right, because that's how God operates, it's really, it's really crazy, like, how God has to deal with Satan, and then you're, there, you're, you're the idiot in the middle that's caught in between, and then, like, it kind of sucks that... The, the entire fate of your eternal existence is really out of your control. It's like, it's 
pretty nuts, man. It's pretty nuts. Of course, they used to teach you this stuff in school, right, in the, throughout the whole world, but because obviously our, at least in the West, right here in America, like, everything's under evil, like, everything is under control by, like, evil fucking Pato Bear ships. So, I don't know. But the good news is it seems like everyone's actually starting to turn on America, right? And apparently maybe the European Union might also be turning, too, so... So that, that actually might be a good thing. I mean, hell, I actually even read that Israel is now starting to, you know, store Chinese renminbi, yuan, as their, as part of their reserve currencies. All right. So even Israel is abandoning the U.S. dollar. All right. Our, our greatest ally. Right. You know, that's actually a good thing that Israel is actually buying up Chinese dollars. All right. Anything that weakens the American government, I'm all for it. I don't really care how it's done. I mean, provide, you know, try to get us all killed course anyway now that i'm rambling that's all there is to it check out crocodile nest especially if you want to stay on chronos all right because you know especially the uh, you the guy that's in wizardly that's getting uh not happy about what's happening with wizardly you can maybe check this out too for me i'm gonna pass because at this point i can't deal with chronos so it's like yeah whatever and now that i actually did this analysis it did occur to me yeah you actually have a natural induced system to basically just withdraw large amounts of money that's 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 that's, that's not good all right bad enough phantom's got this problem where everyone's withdrawing so much money and i don't even know why but it is phantom here you actually have it built in all right because obviously you have to pay the gas fee on chronos wait well that's it <laughs> i mean there's no arguments so yeah i thought there's plenty of mine products out there anyway so it's not like 8% daily is like, you know, like a revolutionary thing, which is hilarious. Anyway, check it out. Nice website. Looks like it's a nice project. Uh, as always, I'm just going to pass because I don't want to deal with Kronos BS because it's just freaking pain in the ass. And the more I find out about it, the more, like, problems I find with Kronos. Not because it's a bad blockchain, but because systemically it's just, you know, there's just a... Uh, what you gonna call it? It's it's just hard to get into, so it's like I don't want to bother with it. I want something easy. I don't want something hard. Hmm. Phrasing on that. <laughs> all right, I'm done for the day. I don't know if there's gonna be any videos tomorrow. All right, I'll just check. Actually, I do subscribe to other channels, so I don't know. I'll just check. No, I'm feeling lazy, so I don't know. I'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll definitely see you for at least one video on Saturday when the. Uh, Titano Seifu type of project launches. And um, actually, it really is more like a Titano Sphere 4 because I don't think they have. Because I think they're, yeah, they're paying a hundred. So they're paying the same APY as Sphere and Titano, 100,000 APY. Not the exact number, it's very close. It's like 100,000, three, eight, whatever. And yeah, there's no long term interest cycle. So yeah, I don't know, whatever. We'll talk about it then. So. All right, next, uh, enjoy the rest of your day or night, wherever you are from. It's 9.30 a.m., so not too bad. Uh, check out Crocodile Nest, very uh, very nice graphics, all right, if you're into this art style. Whatever. And then, um, yeah, like, subscribe, share this video around, you know, maybe let the devs know so that maybe they can push this video out too. All right, I'm always looking to grow the channel. But, of course, if, you know, whatever, you know, yeah, whatever, not a big deal. I'm thinking, there's something I wanted to say, but I forgot. Oh, yeah. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that too. All right, I'm out. So, whatever. If there's something I forgot to mention, then I guess I'll just forget, and then I'll remember, and then it'll be after I hit the record button, and then, I don't know, I guess I'll just have to, if I really have to say, I'll say it to the, I'll do the next video. Oh, actually, yeah, there is one thing I do want to check before we end this. Because I didn't bother doing this last video. Yeah, Bitcoin's at 43 grand. All right, so this is pretty good. Hmm. All coins don't seem to be going up as much. Where is Phantom? Phantom. Phantom. I know I passed by. I just got. Okay, there you are. Dollar twenty. Avax is pushing eighty. Okay, so this actually looks all right. Finance coin. Okay. All right, so money's just flowing back slowly into this. So, all right, so that means crypto's slowly coming, coming back. So that's pretty good. So that probably means bond yields are 
Ten-year yield is back to 2.88. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Yeah. So the market has pretty much priced in and readjusted to what they think that they... Oh, my God. Holy shit. Ooh. Why the price of gold is heading for a modest new all-time high? Yeah, that's bullshit. Dollar is going down. Okay, so perfect setup. So everything... So stuff is going up today. Shit. So that means fucking Sphere should stop correcting already. I mean, they haven't had enough time to correct, but... I see Titano pushing 8 cents, even though I'm basically out of it, alright? Told my family members to also get out of it, which technically might be a problem, because <laughs> now Sphere's down. But Sphere's gonna come back up too, but I needed to hurry the F up, you know? Oh well. And I'm a little concerned that Sim might over-engineer things, instead of, like, keeping things stable. So, that could actually be spooking people out of Sphere as well. Because at least with Titano, you know it's not going to change. So, I don't know. And of course, there's always competitors right around the corner. Oh well, whatever. I'm not going to really worry too much about it. I'll see you all tomorrow, uh, hopefully, if there's any uh, new good content. All right? Yeah, I'm really liking Yada Crypto's channel. Like, he actually finds... He's pretty much exactly what I like, you know? So, um, but yeah. Works for me. Alright, thanks. See you, uh, whatever.